All right, everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be going over tonight's NHL slate. It's a really, really big slate, which is going to be made even bigger by the fact that NBA is a really small slate. Uh, and people might be playing anyway because they are playing the NFL showdown. Um, maybe that takes money away from the NHL slate. I'm not sure. Nonetheless, uh, uh, really, really big slate, lots of opportunities. A couple of updates, uh, just so you guys know, and then we'll get into the analysis. I was a little concerned, uh, not concerned. I was, I was wondering why for most of the season, actually, when I would run lineups through SaberSim, I'd be getting uh, not as many just pure lineups. In other words, I wasn't getting that many five, twos, sixes, four, threes in the default settings. Um, I was getting a lot of, lot of, lot of very offbeat builds like four twos, three, two twos and stuff like that, which listen, based on my, you know, my analysis of what wins, those usually don't win. And I was wondering why that was. I actually did reach out to SaberSim and they'd said, you know, listen, this is this is what we're coming up with. And you want to tweak the uh, the correlation sliders, that, that's fine. But uh, it seems as though that's that's what the, there's nothing wrong or whatever. I guess that's uh, just what they're coming up with. And, you know, it, uh, I, I do tend to believe that the algorithm is pretty good about figuring out what the good upside lineups are. However, I also still am kind of a stickler for, for, for correlation in general. So I will sometimes um, almost always kind of screw around with the, with the percentages of lineups that conform to more correlative builds. And I'll continue to do that, but we'll uh, just, I uh, just to report that. So we're going to do sort of what we did last time is I'm going to build up to the lineups and we're going to go through the, we're going to look at the team totals real quick. Then we're going to look at the team totals. Well, we're going to look at the team totals from different sites assessments. And then we're going to get to the projections. And then we're going to build what we think should be the lineup. And then we are going to then have Sabres and build lineups. I, I really, really like this process. Oh, we almost hit something last night pretty big, actually. But just, uh, hey, it's kind of tough. Um, came up just, just, just a little bit short. Let me just pause just for a second. Okay, so again, I'm looking. I'm gonna look at three different sites here. I'm gonna look at this daily faceoff site. And this is like, I think the free part here. Um, I want to get the guy who runs this site on here to talk about DFS from hockey for a little bit, um, uh, one of these days. And here's Daily Roto. They, I think they're free, so they don't they wouldn't mind if I show this. And then there's uh, Saberson, which again, uh, you could sign up from them, sign up with them through us. Um, and get access to all this stuff and their lineup builder and all that jazz. So let's take a look at the totals. Let's first take a look at the, from Saberson's perspective. From, so from Saberson's perspective, you have Tampa as Tampa and Edmondson as the two kind of standouts at, a, at four, at four goals projected implied. And then you have Colorado, Boston, Devils, all at about three, eight. Okay. Um, so, and Vancouver and, and Vegas. So secondary tiers would be Vegas, Devils and Boston top tier and, and, and Colorado, by the way, and top tiers would be Edmondson and Tampa. Now, again, that doesn't mean that the best fantasies plays are going to come from there because it depends on price, but, but th those are worth the totals are going to imply. Um, then you look at daily Roto as, as an example they actually have Carolina's like higher at three, eight. They have for some reason, Montreal at four. Um, Devils at three, eight again, Toronto at three, eight, Tampa at four, Dallas at three, eight, Florida at four, Winnipeg at three, eight. They have Vegas at four, Edmonton at four and Colorado at four. So as you can see, I mean, even between experts, you're going to get, quite a bit of difference between these. I still don't know why that is. Uh, then we look at uh, daily face-off and, and they specialize in just hockey and they have the lightning up at the top and they're then devils kind of in a tier of their own second. Then you have Bruins, Colorado and Vegas. And then there's down to, to Edmonton. Not a lot of love from this side out of Edmonton. You know me, I'm a sucker for Edmonton. You can always seem to play six of them and they always seem to do well when I play them. So uh, yeah, I always like to see what Edmonton is, is projected at. Um, so it seems as though some combination of this stuff, you know, Dev uh, Lightning, uh, Vegas, 
Devils, Boston, um, Montreal. We have to look at again. There's Boston again showing up. So I like to see, you know, what to, what to expect to expect. Let's put it that way. Before we even look at the at the projections. So then we run our projections with using different models and things like that. And this is what we come up with as kind of an overall outlook. And again, what we like to do is rate all these guys by sheets value score. And then in a perfect world, we have guys that are in the top bunch that are from the same team. And in a perfect, perfect world, you have guys in the top bunch that are from the same team on the same lines. Now, again, in the last couple of weeks, I've added these columns that sh show what the projected even strength line is and the power play line is. Um, and these change, you know, but listen, can't do everything. Um, so this is what we're looking at. So let's 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 then like kind of build a, a hand built lineup based on what we see here. And the first thing I will notice is that there is a real standout at defense, uh, this Vegas guy at 2,700. Um, now, it, it looks as though he's, it's, it's, it's no secret. It's going to be owned really, really high. But it's certainly an advantage. You know, it's, 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 a, it's a score that you can't ignore at 45 on the sheets value score range. Um, the, the problem is, is that he doesn't correlate with anybody. Uh, it doesn't look like it. And it's actually really interesting to me because it looked as though Vegas had such a good team total, but I guess the prices are such that you don't really get to these guys. Like the first guy aside from that defender that you get to is all the way down here, like rated number 35 or something like that, which is kind of strange. But what you can do is put him in your, uh, as, as, as your, your one-off, you know, if you play anything, play Unless you play a perfectly coral, you know, like a five-two or whatever it is, you're going to need some kind of one-off. So that's the first thing I want to do. Let's put Miramon. Uh, how do you pronounce him? Mir Miro Miramonov as a one-off. We'll put him in there. Um, next thing we'll do before we look at anything else, we'll look and see if there's a cheap goalie. Um, yeah, it looks like that. Looks like our top-rated guy is a cheapo. So. Tristan Jerry, 3,800, we'll put him in. The only problem is we don't get to play Florida in this variation, but we'll see if we would even want to. All right. So we're starting with the cheapo, cheapo one-off, cheapo goalie. And then we get a chance to dig in and look and see who we want to stack or who looks good. So you see Swayman, uh, well, it's goalie, sorry about that. Um, trying to visualize this, so... Kucherov, but not until Stamkos down here. Well, I see these two Edmonton guys, three Edmonton guys. They're going to make me want to stack these dudes again, huh? And, ooh, and this is that Montreal, this Montreal guy that's maybe making those Montreal stacks work. But, boy, oh, boy, visually, this is kind of a headache. What I mean is so you usually see, like, a bunch of guys kind of in the same – at least area, you don't really see that. As a matter of fact, you got to go down to those guys we discussed earlier, like these, the Vegas guys. There, at least three of them are like all together, but none of them are all the way up here. Oh, and there's there's another Edmonton guy. If you need another one of those, so it looks like it's a really kind of a, a fair slate. You know, kind of tough to build. Just from hand building, you know, you'd have to really try to strain to figure out who you'd want to play, right? Who can you play Pasternak with? You'd have to come all the way down to here to play Bergeron at 6,900, right? Um, Dougie Hamilton's the top devil from that high total game. So I, I think what the point is, is that this does represent, to as the kids say, a very tight slate, Um to see if there's anything else we can determine. There's really nothing I, I could figure out how to build from a hand-built perspective based on this, unless we, you know, we could try to build an Edmonton stack because, you know what, you have this Montreal guy who's really cheap. So, it, and, and you have this Silverberg who's really cheap at 2,500. So what does that look like? What do we put in Silverberg and, who did I say? And 
Slavkovsky. Let's put in Silverberg. And I already forgot the guy's name. We'll put it in here. Um, um, Silverberg and where'd he go? Oh, not from Anaheim, from um, Montreal, sorry. And Slavkowski. Okay. So if you put him in here, now you have 6,900 a man. You have three cheapo one offs. Then you could probably jam all this Edmonton if you want. So let's just take a look and see if we can get away with that. Not necessarily going to do it, but ooh, when you get the late night hammer, this is great. You're cashing for zero until 11 o'clock at night. I like that. Can you jam all of it? Can you play McDavid? Can you play Nugent Haas? And then, and, and, oh, yeah, dry sidle. And then defenseman, you get the, who do we like? Barry or Barry? And who else do we have? Hyman in this list, probably. Probably put him right in. Let me just make sure. Let's take a look at it. Oh my God, you can really do this. Um, Hyman right there, 6,900. You could almost do exactly this. I'm glad you can't fully do it, but we go over. But it certainly doesn't take a genius to figure out how you can kind of you can kind of change this. And when you look at the um, and when you look at the lines, I'm I'm pretty sure it's either close to good power play correlation or damn well close. You have McDavid one one, Drysaddle one one, Hyman one one. You're almost completely off to the races. And then Nugent Hopkins, we always like to have in my stacks here. He's on the power play, so. Yeah, you could totally get away with it. If you have faith in all three of those cheapos, you could definitely do it. And likewise, you could also probably do the Bostons if you want. Like the or the Colorados. You don't even need it. Colorado ranting in with Makar. But I guess that's the not that's the that's the that's the point here is that using those cheapos that you were able to determine from this from the sheet. Um, you can really play whoever you want uh, from these Edmontons, if that's what you want to do. Um, okay, uh, so now what I want to do is let's uh, clear the field, and we'll have Saberson build. And I couldn't even imagine what they would do. Let's see. So what we're going to do is we're going to upload our projections as of now. And we'll build what well, these guys are out. Oh, the Aho again. Remember the two Sebastian Ahos. Be careful. Let's build, you know, let's build 50. We'll be 50 lineups. And then once again, we'll just we'll build it at 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 the normal default sliders, which look this looks good, right? I don't know why I wouldn't get any five threes here, but let's just let's go. 50 lineups with these projections. I wonder what we would get. How how sick would it be if we actually got the Edmonton with those cheapos? And yeah, we don't even know those guys are playing. Those guys could be out. Those guys could be on the fifth line, or who knows? But we'll see what we are as of now. Uh, so here, <laughs> as a matter of fact, yeah, you're getting all this Muranov, uh, this Mir Miramanov guy, but they instead would rather jam more Tampa than Edmonton. The idea is the same though. You know, Edmonton second and Tampa first. So the idea is to use this mirror, this 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 cheapo to make the rest of it work. And you know what? That makes a lot of sense to me. Um, and that's why this guy's going to be high owned, I imagine. Uh, yes, if you could find a oh boy, oh boy, if you could find a twenty seven hundred dollar guy to pivot to off of that, uh, and he gets there, then you have incredible leverage. But uh, this is probably the idea to play the, the Tampa, Vegas, Edmonton with those cheapos, um, and you're off to the races. Uh, I'm going to be doing, uh, we're going to be going live, but probably not until 645, just because the NBA and the, uh, uh, NBA starts later. I want to be there for football and I can't be there the whole night. 
So I might only be able to go over NHL for just a few minutes. But the good news is, is that I'll do my projections as close to lock as possible before I go on at 645. So at least you'll, you'll, you'll have the most updated information. But overall, I think that's going to be the idea for today is to use this cheapo or those cheapos and just kind of pay up for, for stats. Uh, that'll do it. Uh, good luck.